Let's make some taco seasoning. Hi friends, welcome to Carrie's Culinary Crafts where we talk all things food. And today we are going to be doing my most requested out of everything was everybody asking for my taco seasoning blend. So I have, I am completely out of this jar and I have a little, a little less than half, like maybe a third of a jar of this quart mason jar. So I figured for this month for March's um, DIY seasoning mix, I would do my homemade taco seasoning since I'm running low and I need to go ahead and fill it up. Now I am doing a big bulk recipe. I am doing for, it basically is 52 servings, which is basically what I use as a, a year's worth. Um, I just figure I use taco seasoning once a week. Uh, you know, we always have taco Tuesday, not that we have tacos every single Tuesday, but we have some form of Mexican food, whether it be burritos, you know, taquitos, tacos, taco salad, you know, all, all different kinds, but anything at all that's like basically Mexican. And so I use taco seasoning a lot. My cats are chasing each other, going a little crazy. So the recipe that I'm doing today is for 52 batches. So it's a big batch. But I also, um, I took a picture and I'm going to insert the close up picture of, see this is my hand, handwritten recipe because it, it took me a while to get the recipe that I really liked. Um, you know, like some some of them have more of one thing, less of another. Um, I've even used some, saw some recipes that like that don't have salt. I've made one that didn't have salt. I do not recommend. Um, I just, I made it one time because I thought, you know what? I can just add, you know, my own salt, however much I needed, but it, the taco seasoning itself was seemed to be very bland. So you definitely need salt in there. The recipe that I am giving is not a lot of salt. So even if you want more salt after that, you can add it, but it is not a high salt content um, of taco seasoning blend that I am making today. So, but I will, um, show you a clip of my recipe for the 52 servings for one year. But then on the side here, I have just the regular serving, which is like four servings that you could probably put in like a, a half pint um, mason jar. Um, it would be like four servings. Each serving is two full tablespoons. So it would be like eight tablespoons worth. So you could put that like in a half pint jar. Um, but I have all of that, the four servings listed over here. And then I have my big 52 serving list right here. Okay, so everything, what I need for this recipe is, I need salt. Now I do use table salt for this because I don't want the big, huge granules. I want the really small granules just to make sure it mixes really well with all the other seasonings. So I am going with your standard table salt here. And we're gonna need pepper, and I don't have that much in here, but I don't think I need a whole lot. 
but if I do need more, I'm going to have to go ahead and grind some more peppercorns. These are just black peppercorns that I buy and I grind them when I need ground pepper. So if I need it, I will go ahead and grind some more. Uh, we need some onion powder. We need garlic powder. Cumin. Cayenne pepper. Very little of this. And this is also so, something that can be skipped. I like a little bit of a spicy taco seasoning. But I can't make it too spicy because other people eat it as well. So um, I do use it. But you certainly don't have to. Along with red pepper flakes. Um, if you don't want to use these, don't use them. I use just a little bit. I, I don't use a whole bunch. Now it calls for the, I don't even have, where is my chili powder? I don't even have my chili. You need chili powder. You need a lot of, the chili powder is the main ingredient. I didn't grab my chili powder, so I need to grab that. Um, but then the other thing you need is paprika. Now you can use whatever paprika you want. You can use sweet, you can use hot, you can use smoked, you can use whatever you want. What I do, I use all three. I like a little bit of the heat, so I will use this Hungarian hot. And then of course my favorite is the smoked paprika. So I will use the smoked paprika and the regular paprika. I will just use all three of them in this recipe. So with that, other than the chili powder that I did not grab, that is what you need for my recipe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and restart this process. I'm glad I caught it. I just put in, I put in two cups of chili powder, but for this recipe, I need four cups, but I realized the camera wasn't wasn't on. So I have two cups of chili powder here and then I have another, this is a pint jar and pint jars are two cups. If you didn't know that they were measuring, um, they had measure uh, increments on the side. But I have another jar here of chili powder. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all of that in. I'll have to wash this and get that restocked, which I'm going to have a restock video coming up soon because I have a whole bunch of stuff that is that is out that I need to restock. Okay, so there is four cups of ch uh, chili powder, and I need one cup of cumin. And this also is a pint jar. And if you look, it is about half. So pint, half of a pint jar would be one cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump in the rest of this cumin. All right, and there's another pack. I can go ahead and wash and get refilled. Okay, now here's where I need the paprika. I need 10 tablespoons total of paprika. Now, because I'm using three different kinds, I'm just, you can use them however you want. I am going to split between the three. I am not gonna put tons of the hot in because if you've ever had hot paprika, it is pretty hot. Uh, and I don't want this to be too sp uh, spicy for my son. So um, what I am doing is I am going to do, my favorite paprika is the smoked. So I'm going to ha use half of it with this smoked paprika. So I'm going to do five tablespoons of smoked, four tablespoons of the sweet paprika, and then one tablespoon of the hot paprika. Okay, there's one of the hot paprika. So that is done. And four tablespoons of the regular paprika. 
Now you know why it always gets my, any um, seasonings that I have to purchase that I don't grow myself. I, now you know why I buy them in bulk because I make a lot of all of my like seasoning blends. So I need a lot of spice whenever I'm making them. Okay, this is a smoked paprika and this is what I'm gonna use the most of. I'm gonna use five tablespoons. And just because it's my favorite. I'm getting low on that too. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this over here. It's not empty, but I'm gonna refill it with the restock video. Okay, so, and like I said, you can just use regular paprika for for your paprika. I just like all the different flavors of paprika. It is one of my favorite spices. So I like to use a mixture of all of them. Okay, then the next thing we need garlic powder and onion powder, and we need a quarter of a cup of both of those. I don't think I have a quarter of a cup onion powder here, so I'm gonna have to go grab some more probably. Yep, that's another jar that's empty. So I, I will get that washed and we will restock that. But, okay. So I went ahead and grabbed one of my small seasoning packets just to fill up this quarter cup. And this is this is organic onion powder. So I need to make up the rest of this quarter cup. Okay, so quarter cup onion powder. Then we need a quarter cup of garlic powder. Oop. Oop. That's a little heaping, a little extra. That's okay, it's garlic powder. And that one's gonna need refilled too. Okay. So then we have, we need salt and all the peppers. Okay, so here's my salt and I need three tablespoons of salt, which that is almost four tablespoons equal a quarter of a cup. So I'll just go ahead and do almost this full cup. Now see, like I said, this is 52 servings. So this is a year's worth. So if you think of one year's worth of taco seasoning and three tablespoons of salt is really not a lot at all. Okay, so there's the salt. Then we need the peppers. Okay, here is my black pepper. Just gonna go ahead, I need one tablespoon. And actually, I think I'm gonna have, what I need in there. I picked a good time to make my taco seasoning, guys, cause I'm using up all of these and I can get them nice and clean and redone. Okay, cayenne, pepper, um, I just need one teaspoon of each because like I said, I don't want it super spicy. So I don't want to put a lot in it. So I'm going to go ahead and use my little scoopers here. Uh, my little spoons are half teaspoon. So I just make it a heaping 
And to me, that works as a teaspoon. And here is my red pepper flakes. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just do a heaping spoonful of that. Okay, I seem to be missing a lid somewhere. Oh, here we go. Okay, this goes on the pepper. Okay. Alrighty. Red pepper flakes, cayenne pepper, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, cumin, chili powder. Okay, that is it, friends. That is what I put in my taco seasoning blend. Now I want to go ahead and mix this really good. And you guys have to let me know if you um, if you have a recipe. Is it and is it similar to mine? Um, is it is it totally different? Do you add other things into your taco seasoning? Uh, this is just the blend that I came up with. That way back when this years ago. I mean, I've been making this, it's got to be 10 years now, maybe more. I don't know. Um, but I opened up a seasoning packet, like one of those El Paso taco seasoning packets. I opened up one of those and of course it says all the ingredients that are in it. So I had all of those ingredients and what I did was I just kept making it until I got the same taste as that seasoning packet. Once I got that, I wrote down those ingredients and then I added to it my own personal things. Um, the regular recipe only calls for regular paprika and that's it. I love smoked paprika, and just for a little extra heat, I wanted to put that hot paprika in there as well. Um, as well as just a wee little bit of cayenne pepper. I did notice that some, some taco blends do have a little bit of cayenne. Most of them don't, but I went ahead and put that in there as well. Um, in the red pepper flakes, I put that in there on my own. I I haven't really come across any that had the red pepper flakes in it. But so that is pretty, that is really all that I added that was not in like the back of the seasoning packet. And it was different than a lot of the online recipes that I've seen. I just added a couple things for some extra heat and the smokiness from the smoked paprika. But, okay, and there we go, guys. That is my taco mix. And I'm going to go ahead and dump this into, well, I'm going to scoop it. I'm not going to dump it. You want to make sure you get it mixed really good. And this is where it's important to use that, that table salt as opposed to, like, coarse salt or pink Himalayan salt because those are bigger crumbles, you're gonna get less of it, and those granules are heavy, so they will like sink down to the bottom. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'll try and move really close, but if you look really close in this seasoning mix, I don't know if it focuses or not, I can't tell. Um, it You can see all the salt granules mixed throughout the whole thing. So it's not like settling down to the bottom. Okay, and then here is my taco canister here. I am gonna go ahead and start filling up my canister. 
Now, and as I mentioned before, um, two tablespoons is what you are to use with one pound of meat. I personally find I like a little bit more um, taco seasoning, so I pretty much go up to three tablespoons. But you can do, you know, whatever your preference is. If you like more of a mild taco, then go with the two. If you like a, um, a more obvious taco flavor, then I would say go with, go with the three. is my taco seasoning. Now it fits wonderfully in this container. Okay, so here is my taco seasoning. This is the one that I'm gonna continue to use because I need to get through this first. So I'll get through this and I'll wash it and I will refill it with this taco seasoning. Now in here, I always keep this scoop because I use it so often. And because two tablespoons is a serving, this is a two tablespoon scoop. Like I said, sometimes I put more than that in it, so I might do a heaping scoop or whatever. But these are, um, I actually get these at Walmart. If you go look in the kitchen section in Walmart, they will have, they call them coffee scoops. And every time I'm there, I just go ahead and grab several because I put them in all of these jars. They make a nice, great scooper. So I have that scooper in with the one that I'm always using as well as one of the silica packs in there, you know, with all of my dried spices and all my dried goods. I always keep one of these silica packs in because in our house, um, you know, you guys know it's a very, very old house. It does not have central air, central heating. Um, so it gets very hot and humid in my house in the summertime. So, I mean, we have window air conditioning units, but in my kitchen, my kitchen rarely gets much of that cool air. So I always make sure that in my dry goods, I always keep those silica packs in there. So it keeps them dry, keeps them from clumping up. Okay, and there is my taco seasoning blend. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed this uh, DIY taco seasoning blend. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you click that little bell down there, it'll let you know every time I come out with a video. And I will see you next time. Bye.